guys! My name is Louie and today we'll be discussing photography tips for beginners from a pro. Hi guys! Welcome to the vlog! And I'm Louie and today we'll be discussing about photography tips for beginners from a pro. If you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for further notification. Okay, so let's start. Okay, the first tip is that you need to shoot in RAW, R-A-W. If you're new with your camera, go to settings and change it from JPEG to RAW. Because it's a very big difference shooting in RAW and shooting in JPEG. If you like shooting in JPEG, when you click, that's it. If you shoot in RAW, when you click, and you transfer it to the computer, it's going to be easier for you to convert the light or adjust it to the proper lighting that you would like to have. If it's too dark, you can just increase the exposure without any hassle. You can increase it seamlessly. You can also change the color seamlessly, so effortless. It's a good date for us photographers to always shoot in RAW. So always keep in mind that you will need to shoot in RAW. But still, don't forget, when shooting in RAW, always remember you can shoot like a little bit darker because it can increase the exposure later on in Lightroom. But if, if you like tend to overexpose and you shoot with a, a very exposed photo, it's going to be hard. Or let's say it's going to be impossible. It's going to be impossible to have a perfect photo from a very, very, very white thing. And you would like to get something from which is basically just light. But of course, to shoot in RAW, you need to pay for the price because it's going to be heavier compared to a JPEG and sometimes you need an application like Lightroom, a Bridge, or Photoshop, or a Mac to convert your photo because you cannot just click on it and it's going to open and it's going to be as accessible as a JPEG. It is not that easy. But our work will be simpler if it's done in RAW. Again, it's going to be a heavier file, which brings us to the next topic, which is extras. You always need to have an extra battery, an extra memory card. You always need to have an extra memory card because you'll never know when you'll be trigger happy. There are some days when we just go click, 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 yeah. And we don't want to be deleting files in between takes yes but you can always bring a laptop so you can transfer your files in between layouts so your client or editor can already check your best photo and they can just choose from them which makes a life easier okay tip number three stop stop clicking like you're being chased by a cheetah Take the moment, take the time, feel the vibe. Wait for the moment and then click, okay? Especially in a studio, sometimes you've been clicking endlessly because you've been clicking endlessly without you knowing that it's just a photo and then the next photo will be totally black, darkness. And then another photo, you'll never know if, it's, if that dark photo is your money shot. Okay, so might as well take the moment, wait for the model to pose, and then click. Take your time. Breathe. Number four, know your camera. Stop wasting other people's time. Don't make that sort of practice. Practice on your own. Get a comb, get a coffee, and then take a photo of the coffee. So you'll know if it's, if it's the proper exposure, if you're taking it right. Don't call everybody to go to your studio or don't call everybody for a shoot and then you don't even know how to use your camera. Yes? Better start researching because in the group, they are expecting you to know your gear. You cannot call the makeup artist to set the aperture. You cannot call the stylist to set up the shutter speed or the lighting. It's your job. So take time. Research know exactly how your camera works know your art know your gear 
and please do not shoot in automatic shoot in manual please please anywho i'll be posting a how to of the manual setup of your camera so just wait for it it's going to be up very very soon tip number five number five okay tip number five research be inspired be motivated you can browse magazines you can browse instagram pinterest we have our sets of favorite photographers those are only for inspiration let's not copy their art we don't want to be a second rate trying hard copycat yes yes comment down below your favorite magazines or if you have a favorite link that would inspire other photographers or who is your favorite photographer and why tip number six always look for the light for example there's the stairs yeah stairs is life but the stairs is very dark so you take the photo but why is it not working? What? You already took different angles. You already asked the model to post differently. But it is not working. Why it's not working? It's because of lighting. So tip number six, you need to find your light. Not just the location, not just the proper posing of the model. You need to have a good light before you click that camera. Okay. Tip number seven play a music all of us we need to have a playlist that would inspire every shoot you can just play jazz music forever in a shoot that would be so comfy everybody would just ask for coffee and just relax in a shoot we need to have more energy energy like me i have a playlist in my phone so i could just plug it up or just connect it to a bluetooth speaker or might as well bring your own speaker you're shooting outdoor you can just play something while the model is posing so you can feel the vibe that you're shooting like oh it's so good it's so good okay i think we need to have a part two of this video since i've been writing down different tips on how can a beginner photographer learn more i discovered that it's not just only five it's not just ten it's really a lot look it's really a lot and I've been writing it down based on experience so might as well I think we really need to have a part two for this video so we can discuss it further so if you have other tips that you would like to share and you would like to further discuss please put a comment down below so we can discuss it on the next vlog or if you have a certain topic that you would like me to discuss about photography about fashion photography how it works how's the pay how do you earn how do you charge what what question do you would you like me to answer please comment down below okay in the giveaway result from the last week's vlog yeah it's a power bank 10050 jaguar and the winner is i'll just message you in your facebook okay i'll just message you in your facebook and please reply okay Congratulations! Yay!